Hello, my name's Connor Fields. Today, I'm going to talk about Suzanne K. Langer's philosophy of music in her book, Feeling and Form. For Suzanne Langer, music is um, sort of a tonal analog for emotional life. It's sort of this formal thing that represents human feeling, like symbolically. It's a symbolic representation of human feeling. But it's also like this um, living organism. Like the, comp it's like she borrows this idea from Flaubert. She even admits as much. Flaubert, um, it's this living organism. So it's like an embryo that's plant that the. Uh, the, um, the composer kind of almost gives birth to, but they're, they sort of develop it and work on it. And they have the idea in their mind. Um, and as they have the idea in their mind, they develop, they might have it in different ways. Like some might have it more vividly than others and they develop it and develop it and develop it further until it's in its finished form and ready to hand off to the musicians and the composer could be the musician so in that case he she or they is furthering the music kind of furthering the process of bringing this idea this organism to to its ev an evolutionary end point or giving birth to it but if you're a musician who didn't um, compose the work. You are um, sort of serving the, the commanding form. You're helping the organism get to where it needs to go. And the listener, she also has an idea of the listener. And it, the listener's experience of the music is dependent on the whether or not they have like good training and like how to listen to um, the music and her view of music is really her philosophy of music is mostly a philosophy of classical music possibly it could be pop adopted or adapted to popular music she does talk about folk tunes but they're like folk tunes not as like how we'd think of them today like bob dylan or something no they're like like a classical musician performing a folk tune um anyway she ha also has this idea about like the virtual nature of time and how music sort of affects a virtual experience of time she'll even talk about virtual time and she talks about it as like a subjective thing it's like, uh, as we experience music, she calls music an occurrent art, like a thing that's occurring in time, too. Um, but she'll say there are other things, other arts that occur in time. Dance occurs in time. Uh, theater occurs in time. Um, she will say, like, um, literature, like, stuff you read will occur in time. So I guess for her poetry and prose alike occurs in time. Anyway, that's so it's an occurrent art. So I guess to sum it up, it's this living idea that is a symbol of human feeling and human um, understanding of themselves their experience of time and the human's experience with music affects the um, their understanding of the music. That's Music in a Nutshell with Suzanne Langer.